out here on the Nitnap property and we are prospecting for Kermode resources at the camp showing or camp zone. This is a 75 meter wide zone. Um, starts about right here and runs to about 30 meters past that telephone pole. All this area was hand dug. It was incredibly difficult because there was lots of overburden and um, took lots of manpower to dig out that and find some material. There was a lot of loose rock and uh, what I would call high grade mineralization all over the road as well as below the road. Down here we found a 2,000 kilogram boulder which had uh, sphalerite, galena, a bit of calcopyrite and pyrite. So what we have here is uh, fault controlled semi-massive and massive sulfides and uh, you have an argillic alteration that is best developed in felsic volcano rocks with solidification along some of the larger faults. So mainly what you're going to see here is pyrite, pyrotite, calcopyrite, galena, and mostly sphalerite. And uh, it's along sheared and fractured rock all in this area. Um, closer to the telephone pole is where we found a lot of loose mineralization in uh, loose samples. There's a lot of bedrock um, fractures in here and we can see some decent mineral there. Down here there's a quartz vein and it's a little smaller at the surface but if you actually uh, geo-reference the old drill hole that was done here um, they intercepted this down about 65 meters and it's a 1.3 meter wide quartz vein around this telephone pole all the way over to here. If you actually look at the old assessment reports as well, closer to this area and going around the side where it's not exposed, there is a five meter wide zone uh, where you have broken um, bedrock, oxidized bedrock. And there are also historic assays for that. They've actually raised this road up in the last five, six years and uh, they've covered some of the stuff that was showing at the surface. Down there you can see some gossness material just peeking out of the bank, but uh, mainly what's exposed here is uh, along this area, and we're gonna look at a bunch of samples. There's some grab samples laying around, some float, and uh, we'll get some bedrock samples as well and take a look at those. Bag a couple for assays. So here's a portion of bedrock and where you don't see the high grade mineral you see this type of material here disseminated sphalerite pyrite and a little bit of calcopyrite and pyrotite so here's a few pieces that i've hammered off Some galena, sphalerite, this is the typical host rock. At least in this area. Here's a very nice one, sphalerite, galena, pyrite, calcopyrite, and pyrotite. This is a hunk of massive sulfides here. There's sphalerite in there with pyrite. So anytime you see this yellow stained soil, that's where you find the higher grade stuff stuff with the most mineralization. So there's bedrock right here. 
and I just uh, pulled out a couple hunks here and you can see what I'm talking about. You got Svalrate and Galena. So we're going to dig in this area here. Break through some of this bedrock. It's pretty brittle and broken up, so shouldn't be too hard, but as you can see, it's just all very nice looking sulfides. Pulled a bunch of samples from here. This bedrock here, we're going to hammer this off where you can see the solid hunks of sulfides coming off. Very nice. We got our little bedrock spot here and hammered a, a nice hunk off. So a lot of this is massive sulfides, some semi-massive sulfides, and again, you're looking at sphalerite, galena, pyrotite, bit of calcopyrite, and pyrite. So we took a big sample, basically at any uh, spot there was bedrock exposure on the wall. And we took 20 separate little chip samples, so a composite chip. And we took it every about half meter. A tiny little chip off the bedrock between 20 and 50 grams. And as you can see, a lot of it is the really rich mineral. Some of the samples are mostly bedrock in the composite chip, but uh, there is some mineral in most of the the host rock as well as blebby mineralization and, and little patches, little stringers. So these last four samples are from that uh, area on the lower road, the bedrock that we exposed. And we're going to send these in as a grab sample, about a 30 centimeter, 35 centimeter grab sample of a mineralized area on that uh, piece of bedrock. So let's bag and tag these.
we have the camp showing knit net 12 meter composite chip from bedrock that's exposed sample number five ready for the lab sample number six from the same showing the camp showing the original camp showing and this is a select grab from bedrock ready to go so this is the main exposure at the camp showing on the Carmana main line. This right here is where the quartz vein is. And if you actually line it up with a telephone pole and their own uh, drawing from the old assessment reports, it's exactly in this spot. And the drill hole intercepted a quartz vein right here. We're pulling out quartz from there. There is mineralization on it. We have had it assayed. And uh, those results are in the last assessment report done on this property. And uh, we're not going to say that because there's not a whole lot exposed right now. Uh, everything's kind of sloughed in. But that's the camp showing. And uh, stay tuned for the assay results when those samples get sent out.